Recently, we released a list comprising of 10 tries that won a team a finals match. This time, we are looking at a scoring play that is only worth one point, but sometimes it can be worth a whole lot more for a team, as it is often considered the difference between winning and losing. For this list, the field goal obviously must be in an NRL final series, including a grand final, and it must have been kicked in the final five minutes of play, and the team can't already be in the lead. Nevertheless, this is Greatest Game of All, and these are 10 field goals that won a team a finals match. Number 10. James Maloney. This moment in the 2014 semi-final between the first place Roosters and the fifth place Cowboys was very underwhelming due to the controversial decision that followed. Nevertheless, the Roosters would go out to a 30-0 lead, but the Cowboys would score 30 unanswered points to tie the game. With 5 minutes to go, James Maloney would keep his cool and slot a field goal to eventually win the game and break the hearts of the Cowboys. Maloney's in position for a one-pointer. Well, here comes the kick. Guerra. Away to Maloney, does a bit of dancing, and over the ball, and it's got, he's got the field goal, he's got the drop goal, Maloney takes them to a point lead. Number 9.5, Daryl Halligan. Okay, so there's technically 11. In an incredible finish, the Bulldogs and the Raiders would battle it out to be the first team to reach the 1994 Grand Final. The Dogs were holding on to an 18-12 lead, but the Raiders would score a try in the final minute of play to tie the game. The game went into extra time where Canberra's Ricky Stewart had a shot at field goal, but it hit the post. Then, in the final few minutes of extra time, Canterbury's Daryl Halligan had a shot, and that was a different story. Daryl Halligan, he's Their behind. Their third tackle. Halligan. Dummy half is Demick. Back it goes, Halligan, Halligan. He gets the shot in. I think it's there. Yes, it is. There's the goal that breaks the deadlock. Number nine, Craig Field. The Seagulls and the Roosters would clash with a spot in the 1997 ARL Grand Final up for grabs. Manly were leading 16-6 with 18 minutes to go, but the Chooks would fight back to tie the game at 16 all. With three minutes remaining, Manly halfback Craig Field was right in front, 13 metres out, and all he had to do to send Manly to their third grand final in a row was to kick it through. Well, Field. To, he's a dummy half. So Field is waiting. Field is the man. Field gets the kick in. David Manson, he puts the hand up. Manly's in front. Number eight, Stacey Jones. After upsetting the Bulldogs in the qualifying final a week before, where Francis Melly scored five tries, which is the most in a single finals match, the Warriors were set to take on the Raiders in the semi-final. Canberra would take an early 10-0 lead, but New Zealand would come back to eventually tie the game at 16 all. With just over three minutes to go, Stacey Jones calmly slotted through the field goal to send the Warriors to the preliminary final. Jones is waving his arms about, saying go that way, go that way. Picked up by Villasanti. Villasanti runs it back to the 20. And five tackles have gone. Jones wants it. Jones wants it. Here's the shot. There goes the ball. There goes the kick. It's there. It is there all right. The Warriors are in front. The Warriors by a point. Number seven, Cameron Munster. In a back and forth game that saw six lead changes, the Storm took on the Rabbitohs in the second versus third qualifying final in 2018. South Sydney were holding on to a six-point lead with six minutes to go, but an incredible try from Chase Blair would tie the game at 28 all. As soon as Melbourne got the ball back from the restart, the fifth tackle of that set saw Cameron Munster have a shot from 32 metres out to cap off an incredible match. Munster's the man! Left foot shot! Munster! Towards the press! Munster's kicked it! That's the worst field goal you've ever seen, but it went over. It's a black dot effect. It's all over the place. Never missing, never missing. Number six, Adam Reynolds. Only a week after their loss to the Storm, the Rabbitohs were once again involved in another classic finals match. The final 10 minutes incredibly saw three lead changes and three field goals. An Adam Reynolds field goal to give South a one point lead, a penalty goal from Zach Lomax to give the Dragons a one point lead, another field goal from Adam Reynolds to tie the game, and after a poor fifth tackle option from the Dragons coming out of their own end, Adam Reynolds incredibly avoided a defender to kick his third field goal and his 13th point of the match, scoring every single one of the Rabbitohs points. He's, he's over to the left, 
He sets himself up. He takes the kick. He likes it again. He's a genius, this kid. I look where his chest is facing. All his angles are different. And just nails it straight down the middle. Incredible field goal. Number five, Josh Reynolds. Another crazy final 10 minutes in this 2015 elimination final between the Bulldogs and the Dragons. A penalty was awarded to the Dragons after a knee in the tackle from Frank Pritchard and Gareth Witter would have a shot at goal to give the Dragons the lead. The Dogs would score shortly after to once again take the lead, but it still wasn't over as the Dragons were awarded a penalty for a Bulldogs player being offside and the boot of Gareth Witter would tie the game and the game would go into Golden Point extra time. The Dogs would have the last laugh as Josh Reynolds kicked the winning field goal to end the Dragon season. To the 10. And the Bulldogs now should just put a wall there for the kicker to be behind as they've done. Here's Reynolds. He gets a shot away. It's over. Canterbury have won it. Canterbury have won it. Josh Reynolds becomes the hero. What a bizarre game of football. The dragon season has come to an end. Number four, Trent Hodkinson. A year earlier, the Dogs were once again on the money in the clutch. After finishing seventh, Canterbury would come up against the second place Sea Eagles in a thrilling contest. The Dogs ran out to a 16-0 lead, but Manly would come back to tie the game at 16 all. Thanks to a mistake from Michael Ennis leading to a Chase Blair try, which also saw Renny Matua being sin bin for throwing a punch. The battle of the field goals began as Trent Hawkinson hit a field goal with 6 minutes left to take the lead. Daly Cherry Evans would hit one back to tie the game once again, but it was Trent Hawkinson who hit it when it mattered to break the hearts of the Seagulls in Golden Point. Number 3, Jamie Soward. The Roosters were fingertips away from a trip to the preliminary final as Mitchell Pearce scored a try with 7 minutes remaining to give the Roosters a 6 point lead. The Panthers would continue to fight until the end as they pulled off an unthinkable try. Back there trying to put a cover over it. The ball comes bouncing back into the field of play. What's happened here? Penrith well, think they've scored a try. But does he deliver the ball back in time? Yeah. Yes, yeah, he yeah, does. Yep. This ball is on the line. He puts downward pressure on... Jamie Soward would kick the goal from the sideline to tie the game. Then, with 12 seconds on the clock, Jamie Soward kicked a field goal to win the game for the Panthers. It's down to 15. That earlier time I gave you was wrong. The kick from Soward! Yeah. The kick from Soward! Oh. It's... It's a goal! It's a goal! A field goal for Soward! The hero for Penrith! Number 2, Darren Lockyer. The 2011 semi-final between the Broncos and the Dragons was memorable to say the least thanks to one man, Darren Lockyer. The Broncos 300 game veteran announced that he would retire at the end of the 2011 season, but no one would have predicted the theatrics of his final NRL match. He suffered a fractured cheekbone from his own teammate and managed to play the rest of the game. Former and future Bronco Darius Boyd scored a try and Jamie Sauer kicked the conversion to send it into Golden Point. In what is now known as his final NRL match, Darren Lockyer's final moments on an NRL field perfectly summed up one of the greatest rugby league careers of all time. Lockyer takes a shot, it's low! No, he's got it! I think he's got it! He's got it! He's got it! He has! And them to the preliminary. Superstar to legend to rugby league immortality, Darren Lockyer. And number one, Jonathan Thurston. Of course it is. Of course it's a 2015 grand final between the Broncos and the Cowboys. After fighting for 38 minutes of the second half to try and score and tie the game at 16 all, the Cowboys left it till the final few seconds to have one last chance to pull off an absolute miracle. The excitement turned to tension as the rugby league world stood still with their eyes glued on one man, Jonathan Thurston. If he gets the kick, the Cowboys win their first premiership. If he misses, it's golden point. It looks to me as oh, taken to steel work. This is a horror movie. The heartbreaking miss saw the game go into golden point extra time, and in another heartbreaker for the Broncos, 
Ben Hunt knocked the ball on from a towering kickoff from Kyle Fell. Then, the stage was set for Jonathan Thurston to kick a field goal to give the Cowboys their first premiership. Thurston to choose from with Coote. He hits it, he's got it! He's got the field goal! He's got the premiership! So, what did you think of our list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, chug us a like on Facebook and this video, follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our channel for more Rugby League Countdowns.